Okay, as you can see, the only remedy for a fever is more cowbell. So I got a couple projects I've been working on and I'm gonna quickly show them. It's a couple of new light projects. Now this one kind of looks like a Cylon or that car that ran by itself. It does have a potentiometer on it so let's see if we can make it go faster. Goes faster. Slows down pretty good. I just finished this kit. Uh, I haven't mounted it permanently yet, yet, but that's the first one. And the next one I did turned out really good. And one of the reasons is I'm using a different kind of solder. You can probably see that every one of these connections is really good. And they're not the shiny connection that the usual solder has. And that's because I'm using a, let's see, it's a 6337 blend with a 2.2% flux. And the diameter is really nice, it's 0 0.025. I usually use this stuff, which is 0 0.04. It works pretty good, but it's kind of kind of messy. So I changed to the smaller solder, and it really works good for me. I can actually paint the solder onto those connections. Let's see how this thing works. This is a new project. And this thing also has a potentiometer on it. You can get it to run faster. Slow it down. So those are a couple of projects I worked on for a couple hours. Probably took about five hours to do both of them. But I have another one in the works. I was kind of challenged by uh, Salty to make a an electronic cowbell. Let's see how this thing works. It's not yet because I don't have the right bell for it, but here we go. Okay, that's the cow part, and this, I got this part for the bell, but I don't really like it, it's too small. It's not loud enough either. So I got the cow right. But this one needs to be fixed, I'm going to have, have to find a bigger, a bigger bell. So there it is, two more projects done. And of course they need more cowbell. Knuckle bump.